Welcome back to CI Living. Trying to find a balance with our diet isn't always easy. There's a lot of temptation out there, not just during the holidays, but pretty much any time of year. So we have some fresh ideas here on weight loss from Eastern Illinois University. Professor Jim Painter, thanks for joining us. Thanks. All right, so do diets work for weight loss? You know, diets never work, and why doesn't a diet work? Because you can't stick with it? Because you can't stick with it. And or if you say, I'm going to eat this way until I get to be this weight, and once you get there, what do you do? Yeah, go back to your old habits. Go back to the way before. Isn't that stupid? Mm -hmm. And so the other thing is, <laughs> is that people crave things. Say, I'm never going to eat chocolate again. What do you think about that night? You're probably wanting chocolate. Chocolate, yeah. And so if you say, I'm going on a low-carb diet, what do you think about at night? Carbs. Bread. Yeah, and you wake up in the morning. Do you want sausage? I mean, you I want do bread. every morning. <laughs> but I, yeah, okay. but also bread, sure. That's right. But yeah. if you're restricting it, you want it. And so restriction doesn't work. All right. So what about chocolate? There was something, why can't we cut out chocolate? Even chocolate. You now people say, I'm cutting out chocolate. And I'll say, what's your favorite food? Chocolate? How's that going to go for you? <laughs> not very well. Because you're cutting out your favorite food. Oh, yeah, and that's so, not good. So what's your, what's your recommendation? If we love chocolate, how do we curb that? Actually, there's a lot of things we're going to talk about right now. Because I think chocolate is fine as long as you eat the right portion. And we'll get to that in the end. Okay, okay so let's start over here. We've got pistachios. We have pistachios. So simply choosing the form of the food makes a difference. So you can see those pistachios in the shell and shelled. We did a little study where we brought this into a classroom and we said here's shelled pistachios here's pistachios in the shell they chose about the same amount but since you have to peel it they ate half as many calories because they're in the shell and then we asked them are you full are you satisfied equally full equally satisfied ate half as many calories so you can eat less over the holidays just by picking the right form of the food oh. so does that tell you that that fullness is a psychological thing or what is that what do you do with that uh, it's, it's two things, really. It's psychologically as part of it, but part of it is just the stuff you have in front of you. Yeah. I mean, and we'll get to that in a minute, too. The, just the size of the bar tells you how much to eat. So it's both. They compete sometimes. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a few different options here. What are, what are these? So just choosing the form of the food, you can choose Jello, and this is the diet Jello with the 10 calories. That's 100 calories. You can eat all that for 100 calories. That's a lot. That is. Or you can have a lot of popcorn. That's 100 calories of the popcorn. This is 100 calories worth of, of carrots, chips, and look at this M&M's. Isn't that a sad little pathetic thing? It is. <laughs> How? Could you, could you even eat 100 calories of M&M's? I mean, really, one it's one. Swoop. I would do it, yeah. but then they have to talk. I, I can't do it. <laughs> so, yeah. So, just choosing different kinds of foods And is helps this 100 you. calories or no? This is a little less. Oh. This is actually a little bit less than 100 calories, oh. about 70. Okay, so you can eat a lot of carrots. You can eat a lot of carrots. You can start munching on these when the movie starts and you're still chewing, you know, by the time the movie ends and you haven't eaten all the carrots. So it is important to choose what you have in front of you and you can eat less just by having the right foods there. All right, seductive nutrition. What are we talking about there? So what we're talking about here is that when you look at something and say, I'm going to lose weight, I'm going to go on a diet, I'm restricting this, it doesn't work. So what works? to seduce people into eating right. And so my new area of research is seductive nutrition. Sounds very seductive. But what's seductive about it, I guess? So what's seductive about it is, <laughs> you, in seduction, usually you have this person who's moral, and you seduce them into immorality, and they do these immoral sexual things. Mm -hmm. So nutrition seduction is you have something, you make it better stealthily, you make it taste better, and at the same time then, people will eat more of it because they like it, and it's better for it. So you can kind of seduce people without knowing it into eating well. It's the same thing with losing weight. You can seduce people into eating less just by having the right form of the food, just by having the right form of the food, by choosing things properly, without restricting, you can get people to change their diet stealthfully. Oh, stealthfully. <laughs> so what are we talking about with these McDonald's cups here? So what we have here is that when you go out and you choose, you always have a chance to choose a size. And people say, I don't know what size to choose. How much do you weigh? 500 pounds. <laughs> choose small. <laughs> no, just choose small. If you're going to grab this one, then grab this one. Because this one has over 800 calories, over 700 calories. This has about 550 calories. And so just by choosing a smaller, you'll finish the whole thing. You'll be just as happy. Choose small. And when you're at home, we've done a number of studies with plate size. We did it here at the University of Illinois with ice cream. And we had big plates, big scoops, big spoons. And we had small plates, small, small. And people would eat half as many calories by giving them a small plate, a small spoon, and a small bowl. Same thing with plates like this. You can fill up this plate 
and eat it and be happy, if you fill up this plate, you're getting twice as many calories. So one of the goals is, is to have smaller bowls, plates, glasses, utensils, and you will eat less because it's smaller. Yeah, that, that is a good point. And then we've got some chocolate bars over here going along that same lines of going small. This, going small. So this is, <laughs> a, thousand, this is a thousand calories. And the thing is, that I'll buy this because I want to be cheap. And it's a good deal. Because it's like on sale. It's right. on sale. And it's a good deal. And so I'll just take one bite. I sit down from the TV and crack off one bite. And I think that's a pretty good bite. And so I go back and crack one more bite. And then after about 20 minutes, I've eaten a whole half of a pound of chocolate. And it's a thousand calories. And so my point is, is that you make the portion decision when you're in the store. So again, this whole seductive nutrition thing, stealthily changing what you do. If you buy this, you'll probably eat the whole thing when you get home. If you buy this, you'll eat the whole thing. You only get 200 and some calories. You can even get this. Now the problem with this is, is your body goes, uh-uh. That's not a portion. You're kidding me. And I want seven. And the thing, <laughs> the thing that's really dangerous is these. So these things right oh, yeah. here. Oh. Those are so dangerous because I could eat like five of them. I did a little story once and someone says, five. <laughs> well, that's just it. You eat yeah. one of these and think, what'd you have? Nothing. You have another one. Nothing. Nothing. After morning, you've had 17. What'd you have today? Nothing. After through the day, you ate 50, 60, 100, 2,000. At the end of the day, what'd you have? I fasted all day and had a couple of candies. Because <laughs> yeah. they don't tell you when you're done. Yeah. This, when you finish it, you're done. When you finish this, you're done. And you will stop and the candy bar told you how much to eat. Yeah. Lots of great tips. Thanks so much for coming in and sharing them. Thanks. If you would like to learn more, go to CILiving.tv.